I've just finished making over this main area in our DIY camper 2.0 and I'm gonna show it to you today. Hi everyone, it's Christina from the DIYMommy.com and I am so excited for this. You guys asked for this video a little bit earlier than I planned and I can't wait to share it with you today. This main area in our 2007 fifth wheel is pretty much all made over. It's not exactly how I want it. I'm waiting for a couple more products. I want to build a couple things, but it's close enough and I'm really proud of it. After you watch this video, let me know down in those comments below what you think of this makeover, the DIYs, the paint colors, the style. Also, if you were to make over your own camper or if you have already, what style would you choose? Would you go for something vintage glam like I've done here or would you choose something completely different? I'd love to know. Now, let's get started. Let's take a walk down memory lane. Here is how our camper looked when we purchased it. My husband found it on Facebook Marketplace and he brought it home and it was absolutely perfect for our family. The reason that we got this one was because it has a bunk room in the back with four beds for our girls. Plus it has a pullout which makes it nice and big. And I also wanted to try a whole new RV makeover. If you want to catch the very first video in this series, make sure to check out the link in the description box below. On week one, I was so excited to remove the cornices above the windows. That was the first thing I did. Then I also removed all of these wallpaper borders from the walls. I had to carefully remove them with a knife and lots of muscle, and then I had to wipe away all of the goop with Goo Gone. On the next week, I started removing all of the furniture and I ended up removing more than I originally planned. Originally, I was considering leaving all of the original flooring in as well as the furniture for budget sake. But then when I got to ripping everything out, I just realized how much I wanted all of that original dirty furniture and carpet out and wanted to make it nice and clean and easy to care for. The next week I started painting. I started by spray painting the faucet with this Rust-Oleum Pure Gold. You'll see I use this one a lot throughout this makeover. I love this color. I also painted all of the hinges as well as the old door pulls and handles from our previous camper. I wanted to reuse as many things as possible and play with the power of paint to transform this space. I also started painting the walls in a flat latex paint. The next week I gave the kitchen area a makeover with peel and stick tile as well as some peel and stick marble patterned contact paper. I made a few mistakes with this one but in the end it turned out. Don't forget to check out the link in the description box below for all of the sources for every single thing I've used in this camper makeover. I tried to keep it as affordable as possible. Here's how the sink area turned out and I was really happy with how it looked. On the next week was the big week. This was when I painted all of the cupboards in the main area of our camper. I sanded, primed and painted them and Bear sponsored this whole makeover which I was so thankful for. This enabled me to sort of replan the rest of the camper because our budget was a little bit different. I used a really soft mint green and white and I think it really transformed how this space looked and felt. And then the next week I got to work on the flooring. Like I said originally I wasn't going to do this but as soon as I ripped up the carpet I was so glad I did. This is flooring from Costco and I'm going to leave all of the details on this down in the description box below as well. I was really happy to make the slide in and out work really well and I loved how the floor looked. On the next week, I took the original light fixtures in here and gave them a boho chic upgrade. I did a DIY feature with some wood beads from Amazon and these turned out really cute too. And now last time you might remember, I took this dated entertainment center here in the corner, gave it a sanding and painting, added some shelving and made it into a coffee and drinks bar. 
All right, now let's get into what I've done here at the end of this main room transformation. You might remember I was humming and hawing about which couch I wanted in here and I ended up ordering this one. This one is from Structube, it's a Canadian company. I'll leave the link to it in the description box below. It's a futon that opens into a bed and it was only about $250 Canadian, so it was extremely affordable. I decided to go for this one because it was certainly a lighter weight than the other ones, especially that IKEA daybed that I was looking for originally, and I think that's really important for an RV. I also liked how it looked, the tufting was really glam, and I love how it folded out into this bed. I'm leaving it loose for now, we have traveled with it and it stays relatively in place. Then I got my husband to change out this wall sconce here. I ordered this guy off of Amazon, incredibly affordable and just a really simple look. I also like how the little bits of black add some depth to the camper. You might remember I found these pink velvet chairs. They're also from Structube as well. And then I caught that Ikea had this table on sale and it was only about $150 Canadian, so very inexpensive. And I grabbed it curbside and set that up as well. We've traveled with this one too, and I just flip it upside down when the RV is moving. I also decided to add some drapes to the space. I actually took my kitchen drapes down, they were originally from Ikea as well, and just hemmed the bottoms of them so that they were the right height for the camper. I ordered cafe curtain rods from Home Depot, and I installed them over all of the windows in the pull-out section. I'm just using some wood screws to attach these to the walls. I like how the light still filters through these curtains, but then it can give you some privacy. I do also have some blackout shades from our previous camper that I might move over here to some of the other windows, but I'm still deciding on that. Now comes my favorite part of pretty much every makeover you probably know, and it's styling it. I'm definitely a home stylist at heart, and I love to set places up so they look cozy and chic. So here I'm just using lots of things I have on hand to give this little table area a nice vintage glam look. I found this vase from Dollarama. It was only $3 and I had some fresh peonies in my yard and added those into the vase. I also found this dinnerware from Real Canadian Superstore. The placemats are from Ikea. The napkins are handmade. And I also put some pillows on the Structube sofa. These pillows are from Structube as well. So here's a reminder of how the main area in our DIY camper looked originally. And here is how it looks today. It's certainly light, bright, and feminine. And that's pretty much what we wanted. I did give my daughters a lot of say in this color scheme and they love blush pink and mint and they love gold as well. So a lot of these colors are truly inspired by my daughters. I always get asked if my husband mines all of the pinks and things that I often use in my decor and honestly he doesn't. As long as things function and he feels cozy and happy in a space, he's happy when we're happy. As you can see, I'm missing a few of the cupboard door pulls and things. I'm still waiting on those and I have to spray paint them and install them. But for now, this almost finished look is making me so happy. We took our camper out on a camping trip already and we loved how everything worked. We put a few things in storage, like some of the things in the coffee station. And like I mentioned, we flipped the table upside down. And then when the pullout comes in, lots of things are secure. I do want to build a corner bench by the table still. I'm considering buying a smaller table here. I'm not sure yet, but this is going to work for now and I loved the cost of this one. So a corner bench, a few more details like the handles. And then I also want to work on the girls bunk room this summer and I might leave the master bedroom and bathroom till next summer. We'll see how that goes. Thank you 
so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this transformation. Let me know down in those comments below what you thought of the makeover, the furniture choices, the DIYs, the paint colors, all of that. Also, if you have done an RV makeover or you want to do one, what style would you choose? Would you do this vintage glam style or would you do something totally different? If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more DIY and decor ideas. And I'm going to leave some more videos that I hope you will watch next right up here.